Hello everyone, I just wanted to share an idea I had about ways to potentially use the new question feature in Google Classroom. I'm in my test class here. If you click the plus sign, one of your options is to now create a question. So I'm just going to ask something for my ELA class. So as an English teacher, I'm focusing on the standard that asks students to compare two different texts on similar subjects. So I went to News ELA and found this article on statues in North, Car or North Korea that talk about leader worship and some of the political associations happening there. So I'm going to take that link, go back to my classroom and add it as a link and you can see my instructions for students here to read the article and compare how that article um, is similar or different to how leaders are portrayed in 1984, the book I'm studying in class. So I'm going to click add to add that link and then ask it um, and first I'm going to choose which classes I want to share it with if I have more than one of the same hours but I don't in this case so I'm just going to click ask and when I do that I am going to let them see and reply to each other's answers but I'm not going to click edit their answers just yet so now as a student I can see that this is updated I can see that it's not done and that it's due tomorrow so now when I um, type in my answer I can say whatever I want to say so as a student I might give a pretty lame or um, uninformed answer um, but notice that I am unable to see my classmates' answers until I post. That's one of the nice features of Classroom um, that I like. So if I submit this, then it tells me I can't make my changes. But once I do submit, then I can see my classmates' answers. So this could be used um, in a variety of ways. But now when I see some maybe more thoughtful responses. I can see Ron has put something um, you know that maybe changes my thinking as has Google Class 10 whoever that is. Um, so I can reply to them and build off their thinking but I, what I like as a teacher is giving students a chance to change their answers before I grade that. So it gives them an opportunity to build on their thinking um, and edit what they had previously put. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So now back at the teacher page I can see that three students have completed that and if I click into the question assignment I can see who is done, I can set what the point total is going to be um, but I can also click on this cog and choose to allow students to edit their answers. So now that they can edit their answers we can go back, make some changes. So now, back as a student, I can see the option to edit my answer and I could change what I want to do um, and improve my answer and hopefully improve my score, but more importantly, improve my learning and my overall thinking. So um, hopefully that helps and have fun with this new feature.